Hi there, Interspark here. Yep, there I am. No, wait a minute. There we go. Now, today I'll be reviewing Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix on DS. Now, I'll start with the camera angle. Yep, there he is, the little invisible cameraman all games have. Except in this game, the cameraman seems to be the roadrunner on steroids. Allow me to explain. It's a perfectly normal day at Hogwarts. You just have to charge glass and. Ah! 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 Every time I turn a corner. Next up is the lessons. Except the lessons at Hogwarts seem to be aimed at three year olds. Astronomy is doing dot to dot puzzles. Transfiguration involves colouring inside the lines. Herbology is tapping pots in order to make strange plants grow. Potions. Well, actually, I rather enjoyed potions. It involves stirring potions in different directions, collecting various ingredients, and blowing on the fire. Yes, I'm aware of what that might look like, but he's blowing on a fire, okay. After a lesson, you get marked as either outstanding, exceeds expectations, acceptable, poor, disgraceful, or troll. No, wait, scratch that. It's not just lessons. You get marked for doing almost anything. For example, I was in the woods one day helping Luna feed the festrals, after which I would stroke them, which they didn't like. And quite literally, I'd insult to injury. Luna then marked me down for it and had me do it again. Now what's next? Ah yes, dueling. Now you would think that in this day and age, the electronic arts team would be capable of high-speed 3D dueling action, wouldn't you? Well, you'd be right. They just couldn't be bothered. Dueling involves selecting a target and then a spell to use on them. <coughs> Excuse me. The spells include Protego, which protects you and all the rest, which all do the same thing, that being as follows. The duels take place pretty much every time Harry and friends run into the Slytherins. With very little provocation, I might add. Clearly, whoever goes around school telling kids to walk away from bullies has never been to Hogwarts. At the end of the game, I found myself playing Albus Dumbledore fighting Lord Voldemort. I wondered, what kind of spectacular magic is the greatest wizard of all time capable of? Needless to say, I was sorely disappointed. I mean, I was under the impression that Albus Dumbledore was a tiny bit better than your average school kid at magic. After the battle, I decided to let Voldemort take over my mind for a laugh. But I found it considerably less funny when I found it meant having to battle the previous gazillion duels all over again. Finally, there's the errands. Oh, the errands. At the start of the game, I was at Grimwald Place, and met my godfather Sirius. Instead of a touching reunion, I was instructed to mend his broken vases. Hey, oh, wait a minute! I thought I was already in danger of expulsion for conjuring a Patronus to save my life! It means you might get a bit cross if I use more magic later the very same day. More importantly, it will tell them exactly where the Order's secret base is. Well, where was I? Ah, yes. Errands. It seems like throughout the game, I was every other character's bitch. Do this, Harry. Do that, Harry. Get this me, Harry. Ah, 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 ah. I felt like freaking Cinderella. I half expected Ron and Hermione to announce they were off to the ball. But the real icing on the cake was when some kid said he I was mad and then asked me to help him. Now, Harry, in this situation, what do you do? Do you A. Slap the kid in the face, B. Help him, or C. Make some witty quip and walk away? No, that's wrong. You fail. So, to recap. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix on the DS is a terrible game, the storyline makes little to no sense, and it makes me want to kill myself. Clearly the game designers are under the common misconception that as long as they call it Harry Potter and roughly follow J.K. Rowling's brilliant storyline, the game will find and people will like it. Well that's wrong as well! Because games are supposed to be fun! You fail! Oh, and the Quidditch was a major letdown as well.